now for this livery i'll be adding a text in the front a text in the middle and text in the back text in the front and text in the middle and text in the back we'll all use the boolean modifier but we'll use slightly different methods with slight variations which i'll explain now let's start with what we have just learned on the cylinder let's add a plane bring it out in front of the aircraft just like that and usually if you look for uh, 747 liveries the text falls between these two line of windows in fact we can look up quickly uh, Lufthansa 747 as you can see oh wow I look for Lufthansa I get British Airways uh, the text falls between the two windows just like that between the two lines so like the second first floor and the 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 ground level let's now approximately create what we want our text to what the area we want our text to uh, take up you can look at this from the side always look at it from the side since perception can be really difficult like this actually I should also explain that this is known as orthographic view and when we look at it like this it's known as perspective view so since this has perspective if you press 5 on your numpad you can also see orthographic view like this and it looks really really odd but ke I would recommend keep it in perspective when you're looking around like this but just snap to the side if you want orthographic view and you get a really good uh, estimation of what it will look like when it will actually go on there let's now bring this slightly closer I'm happy with the area it's taking up let's extrude this and make sure it comes out of the other side as well add a boolean modifier intersect fast here you want to select the fuselage since this is the object we want it to stick to and click apply now we can't really see it but if we go to this uh, second view we see the the pattern that tells us that it is sticking to the fuselage and it's there let's go back to the texture view if you want you can also get rid of all of these rivets just by hiding them okay so here is our object let us now also delete the faces in the middle like we did earlier that should just leave these two sides let's select this one take it out by 0 0.02 which is 2 centimeters like we discussed with the cylinder and you want to do the same thing on the other side just like that now we've got two planes sitting on top of the aircraft now let's go to the material menu here click new and let's name this material livery decals this will be our main materials throughout the entire process all of our decals that we will add will use the livery decals material except for the engines engines are just a completely different game I'll explain that later in the tutorial now that we have a material here let's scroll down until we get to MSFS materials in material type you want to select MSFS decal now let's open Photoshop this is where the work in Photoshop begins so here you want to create a new file of size I would recommend anywhere between 4096 to 8192 make sure that both the width and the height are divisible by 4 let's create and in here now let's create our decal sheet so the way this works is let's use the text tool for now and create a big box in which we will write the name of our airline so here it's going to be uh, the oops we're in caps lock are uh, the template so reduce the size this is way too big uh, I guess 250 should work not 25 250 okay that's too small 500 that's good let's take it to the corner and also let's change the color since it won't be of much contrast against the the fuselage there we go let's now save this actually I think this is about time I also create a new uh, 
a new folder for this livery. And let's name this livery decals. Now Blender can actually read PSDs, so we'll just use this. You go here, you scroll down till you find base color. You click on open, click on uh, let's find the directory for our project folder, which is right here. You want to select the PSD. Now this may not change anything. You may not see anything here at first. That's because these faces don't exactly have a UV map right now. So you want to go to UV editing. Let's work on the UV map now. So let's go to X-ray mode. Make sure both of them are selected. What we'll do now is we will view both of these planes from one angle, from one side in orthographic view. So it just looks like the plane it was before we added the Boolean modifier when it was just standing right here. It'll look the same, except for the mesh, of course, since the mesh is now sticking to it. So now you want to do UV project from view. This will create this box we see right here. You want to take this box and put it over our text, just like that. And you use the same grab and scale uh, keybinds on the UV editing side as well. If you go back to layout, you can see that our name is now on the side of the aircraft but here it's flipped and the reason for that is because we had done the project from view feature from just this side which means that this side will automatically be flipped so the way you fix it is by selecting only this part which you can do in x-ray view really easily and in the UV to flip it you scale it minus one on the x-axis and if you go back to layout, as you can see, it's back to normal. In fact, I think actually we should move this a little bit this way. So let's just do that. You can also view it here, of course. I just prefer not to. You can just click on the third globe and you can see it right here. There it is. It's not mirroring. Now this is not something that you necessarily need to do but if you want to see transparency instead of this white background here follow these steps. Open Photoshop the livery decals PSD and save that as a PNG. Go back to Blender. Now let's get rid of PSD. so now it's almost as if it was never there and then we go to base color click open and this time select the PNG now when you first open it the background also comes as black and since the text is black we can't really see it at all but the way we overcome this is Firstly, go to settings, blend mode, change opaque to alpha blend. Then go to the shading menu, select this top node only, bring it down and join the alpha node of the base color to the alpha node of the material. Go back to layout and as you can see now it's transparent instead of having that white background. 